Hi there, welcome back to NetHack, Zozo Plays NetHack. Um, I've decided how I'm going to structure this series now. It's going to be um, attempts and episodes. So this is uh, attempt one, episode two. And I've made the graphics a little bit bigger, as big as I can. I, I don't like playing it like this because it sort of squashes, deforms the graphics a bit. But um, uh I think it's easier to view like this, so I'll try and get used to it. Um, right, I'm thinking we're going to have a problem here with um, food. So we need to look for some food. But before we do that, um, I'm going to... No, no, let's just get on with it. Right, so let's have a look then. What have we got here? Flail, seven crossbow bolts and a... A lichen lichen corpse. Let's let's eat that lichen corpse. The lichen corpse tastes terrible. You finish eating the lichen corpse. So um or lichen, depending. So let's uh, let's get on here, let's have a look. What have we got? That's a dead end. Let's go down here. What have we got in here? Empty room, that's no good. Where does this go? Ah, a hobgoblin. Kill the goblin. Crude dagger and an iron skull cap. Now, one of the things you can do is you, the your pet will not pick up anything. That door's locked. Let's kick it down. Your your pet will not pick up anything that is cursed. So you see, it picked up the iron skull cap. So I'm gonna pick that up and put it on. So there we go. Plus one skull cap. That's brilliant. And our AC has gone down to 7. The lower that number, the more protected we are. That's right, yes. I looked it up. That one's locked too. Let's kick that down. Those are the stairs down there, but we don't want to go down that way straight away. There's all this juicy bit of dungeon over here to explore. Um, okay. Oh, and more stairs down. We're on dungeon level 2 here. So I'm not sure. Game does branch off at certain points. Um, right, we've, we're at 500 turns now, so we're gonna we're going to be getting hungry. 16 gold pieces. It's hardly tre treasure worth writing home about. Oh, this door does not. There we go. That door did not want to get knocked down, did it? Can't blame it. So we're going round again here. Every every movement, every action is a turn, so... Uh, oh, a jackal. I'm just going to wait here for him to come. There we go, surprise him. You hit the jackal, the jackal misses. You miss the jackal, the jackal bites. You miss the jackal, the jackal misses. The newt just misses. Killed the jackal. Killed the new, and that's experience level two. So we've got some more HP and some more magic power. That leads to that door. I don't think there's any point opening that. What's down here? Come on, we want something. Oh, this is a shop. This is a potion shop. Hello, Zozo players. Welcome to Nejezjin's Liquor Emporium. Um, well, we haven't got any much cash, so I'm not going to... Oh, what's that? A gecko? I was hoping that would leave a dead body. That's a fox. I was hoping it would leave a dead body we could eat. There we go, 640 turns now. So we are going to be... You hear the chime of a cash register. That That tells you that there is a shop on this level. And that's it. Right, let's, get, let's check these stairs out. Oh, that's a trap. You feel momentarily lethargic. I think that's a sleep trap there. Um, I've got a cloak of magical resistance on, so it didn't actually affect me, I don't think. Or did it? Did it put me... Where's the cat? There we go. Right, let's go down here. Okay, so let's. that's dungeon level 3. What are these other stairs? Where did they go? 
To be honest, I'm not entirely sure where these might go. Come on, cat. There we go. Okay, this is the Gnomish Mines, I think. It's very dark down here. Oh, yeah. You missed the gnome. Oh, no, we're, we're almost dead. All right, I'm going to use a force bolt. Killed the gnome. Welcome to experience level three. What we need to do, though, is we need to we need to bail. You hear some noises in the distance. That's the cat fighting that gnome there. You see here a broadsword, unfortunately. I'm a wizard, and I cannot wield broadswords. Now, what have we got in this? Blessed potion of blindness. Potion of booze. Potion of sleeping. Cloudy potion. None of those are going to help us um, with our health points, are they? Hey, um, I'm I'm going to. Where is that cat? Come on, cat. Come on. We're going. Where is he? You hear some noises. He's fighting all kinds of stuff. Are you? But the Ah oh, Come on cat There he is. Right, let's get out of here. Let's go for um dungeon level three, I think. Um and see if we can get leveled up a bit more. This cat's annoying me. <laughs> like my real cat. Okay, what have we got on dungeon level three? The gnomish mines are they're quite. I find them quite tricky. Oh, there's a box here. All right, let's pick up those gold pieces. Now it's not locked, so let's loot this chest. Yes. Hmm. It seems to be locked. So just to prove me wrong. So what we need to do here is we could kick it to break open the box, but we might break what's inside. So we can force the lock with our weapon. So there's a large box here. Force its lock. Yes. You start bashing it with your quarterstaff. You're beginning to feel hungry. You stop forcing the lock. Right. So we're hungry. Now that's not good. Um, I'm going to use... Um, right. We've got the detect food spell. But it's a divination spell. And I don't have good divination skills so it's 62% chance that that will fail um, don't like those odds so I'm going to use I'm going to read a scroll a blessed scroll of food detection right so there, there's a shop in the level over here that's filled with food so we need to somehow get over there so let's let's go back up this corridor See, oh, giant rat. That was a. I just did a force bolt on him there. Okay, so 126 gold pieces. That's pretty cool. And a scroll of identify. They're very useful. So we've got some money for some food. Just need to get there before. Oh, kitten is almost hit by a dart. There must be a dart trap there somewhere. Okay, please be open. Yay! All right. Hello, Zozo players. Welcome to Possa Growy Nose General Store. Right, we want um, those bread and milk and water things. These a food ration. Let's pick that up. 120. Wow. That's expensive food. Right, um, 220s. Right, so we you pick up what you want in the store. Another scroll of identify there. But he won't let you leave. You need to pay for it first. You can steal from the shops. It's a bit like Splunky. Um, no, we don't want to put something on. Two food rations for 240 Zork mids. Pay? Yes. Thank you. Right, now we need to, we need to eat that. What do you want to eat? S. Black rotten food. 
Ah. Well, we're not hungry anymore. Now, my pet's picked up some food. If we could just get out of the door. See, you can steal from the shops, but the shopkeepers are deadly. No shotguns, though. But, um... The kitten drops a slime mold. Did he drop it outside? No. He dropped that earlier. Right, so we just spent a, f a small fortune of gold on basically rotten food. That's my luck for you. You succeed in forcing the lock. In fact, you've totally destroyed the chest. You see a vial shatter. You feel somewhat dizzy. I'm confused. So, oh, yeah, when it, whatever direction I push in, he sort of staggers to the side. You feel less confused now. Right, do we want to go down those stairs there? Or, let, no, let's go see what's through this door. And here we go. Resist, resist. There we go. Hmm, we're not finding many juicy items, really, are we? And um, that's a dead end. Let's have a look down here. Door is locked. Let's kick that down. <laughs> That's a hobbit. Hobbit throws a dagger. You are hit by a dagger. So here we go. False bolt again. The spell hits the hobbit. He's still awake though. So we're just going to wait here. There we go. Surprised him. Killed the hobbit. You see a hobbit corpse. Alright. Yep. I searched there. Searching again. No, I think that's it. So, oh, hello, orc zombie. He hit me. Oh, he's done five damage. There we go. There was two of them, I think. Oh, no, just the one. Level four. You feel awake. I wish I did. Don't feel very awake today. Stayed up, stayed up far too late last night playing Alpha Centauri uh, with the wife and... Uh, then we went to bed and ended up watching Code Geass. Ah, what's this? Gnome Zombie. Gnome Zombie Corpse. You're beginning to feel hungry again. So let's eat another... Oh no, that was nice. That food really hit the spot. You finish eating the food ration. Oh, that's a floating eyeball enemy down the corridor there. I believe they... I think they cause paralysis if you touch them, so I'm going to long range kill him. A bat. I hate bats. hate bats in video games. There's a food ration there, though. Let's have that. Sorely in need of that. Now, where's where's the cat gone? Again. Oh, there he is. Or she. Over here. Thanks. Right, so let's drop down. Oh, a new kitten. You missed the newt. The kitten misses the newt. The kitten got the newt there. I hate the, hate the cat stealing my kills. You're a kill stealer. Cat. Needs training. Anyway, that's we're on dungeon level 4 now. Um, and we're level 4. We're doing okay. We've not found anything awesome. Um, which is a shame. I'll tell you what, before we finish the episode... I'm going to read this scroll of identify and I'm going to identify this ring and engagement ring. It's an uncursed ring of warning. And now I, I'm, I'm not entirely sure what that does and I'm not entirely sure what a plus one ring of adornment does either. So um, I'd probably best look in those up maybe. That might might be a good idea um, but we found the plus one eye in skull cap that was a good find so I'm gonna leave it there um, for today until next time uh, this is Zozo plays the conjurer trapped down in level four of the dungeons of doom and I'll, I'll see you next time uh, hopefully we can last maybe one more episode before my horrible and timely death um, which we all look forward to. So, until next time, take care. I'll see you later. Bye.